Hello there, it's Mick from Creative Schools again. This is a training video which is going to be about news posts. So when you post a, a piece of news to your site, it will automatically get posted to this area here. So it's called the school blog and you can filter it by various categories which I'll explain in a moment. But every time you, you add one, it will come in to, to this point here and all of these will move along one and you also have, go back to the top, calendar and news. Yeah, if we click on news, everyone can see uh, the latest news. And this is uh, uh, every single uh, blog uh, uh, and news post that will go will, will appear in here. So how to add a new post is we hover over new. So this is after we've logged in and just click on post. Now the things that you need to have with every post are a title, and then very importantly you need to have a featured image, and that's the image that we saw on the home page uh, grid of news there, so you have to put one in here, otherwise it will just be a plain blue square and it won't look very attractive at all. So we click on set featured image, two ways you can do it, you can select files, which is then you can upload them from the uh, device that you're using. Or if you click on Media Library, that will bring up every image that is in the, the gallery. So any image that has been uh, placed anywhere else on the site. So if we just scroll through until we find one. So we'll select that one. And you set that as a featured image. Now this image, as you can see here, is in landscape and all of your site is built with landscape images in mind. So please don't put any portrait images on at all. If you do have a portrait image that you want to use, just crop it so that it's, or, or change the orientation so that it's a, it's a landscape but make sure everything is still facing the right way around. If you do have any problems with putting it on, you can just give us a call uh, or send the image to me and I, I can change it for you if it's, uh, if it's one that you really need to have on. Uh, and my information is on the dashboard uh, when you log in. So once your image is set, you can edit it as many times as you like just by clicking on there and it brings up the library again and you can also upload again. The next important thing you need are the categories. So these are the things that this news item is associated with. So any news item that is made at all will go on the home page and in the news page on the site but you can also tag it with things. So you can see we've got quite a lot on here already but the most important ones will be the years and for the main uh, groups so if it affects um, PTA for example and school trips uh, that will also feel that, so that people who are interested in those items, those things, those areas they can uh, filter their news and they can subscribe those calendars to their to their iPhone or to their Google Calendar so they can see the school events and school news on there. The next thing we need is an excerpt and that will go as the sort of the little summary of the uh, of the of the news post. If you do, it is quite important that you put one in. If you don't put one in, it will take the first the first line of your um, your 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 story here that you that I'm typing in now, and maybe the first line isn't the most. Oops, I can't spell. Maybe the the, the first line of the story isn't that uh, exciting and doesn't really summarise the, the the post that well. So just just add in a little excerpt, and it really only needs to be one sentence. So what we're doing here, different formats of posts. So that's a standard one. That's the one you're going to use nine times out of ten. If it's just an image in a featured image and the uh, information can go in the post. If you do want to have more than one image in there, I would recommend setting up a gallery post. It's very similar to the way we've just done it. So if we just click on gallery, go over here to add media. And rather than just clicking on one image and inserting, up here on the left you've got Create Gallery. So if we just click on that, scroll down, select a couple of images, 
you see they've been selected by the tick they've got there. If you hover over them, you can remove them as well. So, create a new gallery. This bit will all be uh, will be done for you. So you just have to click on Insert Gallery. So see that 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 is just uh, a way of telling the uh, uh, site where which uh, information and which photos and which um, gallery photos to use. A couple of other things you can do: you can save things as a draft up here. You can preview them. If you want to make anything. Um, not visible instantly to the, the public you can so again nine times out of ten you're going to publish things immediately but if you click on edit you can select when you're going to publish it and that can be in the past or in the in the future so the future is for obvious things where you don't want to announce them just yet but you've got all the information ready and to put things in the past is is evidence for Ofsted so if you uh, need to if you offset, uh, I know that you've, they've just been in, but it's it's a way of proving to them that you can, uh, um, you you've got evidence on your website, so they can see things that have happened over the course of a year, even if you're uploading them all in one go. And finally, what we do is we click on publish, and that will take it through, and that will uh, populate all of the areas that are selected here, and the home page and the news page. All right, thank you.